Welcome back. We're doing another review on a product, which is this is the Marbles 11-inch handle hickory American hickory wood handled 1045 carbon steel marbles single bit axe. It's very similar to the one that Wrangler Star did a review on a couple years ago. The rarest axe in the world. It is also the smallest axe in the world. It's more ideal for ultralight backpacking, uh, short-term camping. Um, uh, it does have a really thick uh, blade profile, and you will need to further sharpen this for, before you can use this in the field. It has a nice little lanyard loop, and I recommend you put some kind of uh, cordage on there when you're using this because, um, as you'll see from the test clip that I will roll into this video, that the handle will slide out of your hand vicariously, um, but it doesn't affect it in chopping very very badly. Um, it does chop really well. Um, being that it's a small hatchet, it's also made in El Salvador, being a small hatchet, um, it is lightweight. It weighs about a pound overall. About a pound. It has a nice little hammer bit on it. It's extremely light, so when you use this thing, it's like wielding a machete. It cuts deep, um, but it won't wear you out as much as, say, a you know, heavier hatchet that's a lot bigger than this. This is more of a belt type of hatchet, like the Grand Force Brooks uh, belt type of hatchet. It's very similar to it, but it has a little bit longer handle. Um, being it's a single bit, they also make a double bit in this uh, same uh, type of hatchet. But uh, it has a nice little palm swell, but it doesn't really catch your back of your hand very well. So it'll start sliding out of your hand while you're cutting with it. Um, we'll roll in the test clip of uh, chopping right now with it, and I'll show you why. That was two inch diameter wood. Now we're going to try a little bit bigger stuff right here. Some more two inch diameter wood. This is uh, maple. One thing I noticed about this uh, marble single bit hatchet that is when you're using it got a very small palm swell so it's going to slide out of your hand real easy. Um, this is about the same size as the ha Marbles Hatchet, Rares Hatchet, uh, that, uh, that Wrangler Star reviewed. It's just the revamped version of that same single bit hatchet that Wrangler Star reviewed. This is actually a brand new hatchet. It's a decent quality. It's already sharp. I've already chopped up with wood with it for about a week. Took it camping with me, so it does cut really well. Now we're going to chop into this three diameter inch wood. about the diameter of wood that you would be cutting down to make a ridge pole shelter. Bite extremely deep. There you go.
hard to control it. There you go. Cut three inch diameter wood, one inch diameter wood. Uh, three inch diameter wood, pretty Oops. good. As you can see from the chopping, it did chop very well. Char chops really good. But one thing about when you're using it chopping, it does try to slide out of your hands. Um, and I'll show you a comparison to a, a bigger hatchet, which this is a two pound, um, two pound uh, Husqvarna hatchet. As you can see, it has a lot bigger palm swell, and it doesn't slide out of your hand as bad. Both of them have a hickory type of American hickory wood handle, untreated. Um, the Husqvarna is actually the better hatchet. It does um, fit and form to your hand better. Um, but if you need a light, ultra light backpacking hatchet, this one will work pretty good compared to something bigger. If you don't want to carry a bigger hatchet with you in the field. This is the idea for you. This and Amora, it does split wood really well. Um, I'll roll in the clip of uh, it splitting wood. And then there you go. Splits wood okay. There you go, splits wood okay. There you go. Try a bigger piece. There you go. Split a bigger piece up, okay. Such a small blade, it's harder to split wood than with a bigger blade. As you can see, the blade is very fat so it's harder to chop stuff with a fatter edged hatchet than it would be a thinner bladed hatchet like a Husqvarna. It's more of a belt hatchet than it is a uh, hard hitting two pound hatchet. It weighs about a pound. About a pound. Uh, it does split pretty good. There you go. The marbles, single bit, 11 inch hatchet, splitting That's and chopping. That's the splitting portion. Uh, it split well. Um, uh, it doesn't split as good as a, the bigger hatchet, but it does split wood, so it splits okay uh, for what it is. It's not the best splitter. Um, we'll run a test clip in it for uh, carving wood and uh, making a tent stake with it. Uh, basically a raised bed stake or a trigger stake for a trap and I'll give you my final thoughts on this uh, marbles single bit axe stake for the raised bed
and then we're gonna drive it in and uh, use this for a close quarters type of carving. As you can see, it carves a steak really well. There you go, carves really good. Carving on this is pretty good. It's comparable to a Husqvarna or a Grand Force Brooks hatchet. Now we're going to drive it in with the hammer bit. It, it drove it in pretty good. It's in there tight. But it did mash the end of that uh, piece of wood up pretty bad. Uh, the hammer bit is a little bit too rounded, but it's a little squared off. But it's My okay. final thoughts on the uh, marbled 1045 carbon steel 11 inch hatchet is it is a decent little hatchet for what it is more idea for ultralight bat packing um, short term camping one thing I did not like about it the handle is so thin on the bottom it, you'll have trouble gripping it when you're using it to cut but for fine task work it works really fine carves really good but you will have to put a further edge on this uh, marbles single bit axe it's more in line of those uh, Holta Force or Grand Force Brooks Axe type of belt hatchets. It works good in the field. It chops. It chops pretty good, but being a wide uh, profile blade like this, even when you sharpen it, it still has a little bit more trouble uh, chopping wood than maybe a uh, Husqvarna hatchet with its thinner blade. But other than that, for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong with this marbles. It's the same. Uh, they're just reamped their uh, their uh, old number five hatchets. I think this is a lot better than their safety hatchets. But that's just my overall opinion. Um, it's just a solid hatchet. It works good. Um, you can put it in your ultralight bat packing kit with a mora and not put too much weight in your pack when you're in the field it works great um, I've had it for about a week I've been using it for a week it works really good it'll chop four three two inch one one diameter type of wood no problem I didn't have anything any issue with the handle coming loose or the head coming off of the handle so it gets high marks I give it a four out of five um, Wrangler Star did a, a review on one that's very similar to this but it gets high marks. It works great. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe. If you like the uh, marbles, number five, old school revamp of the uh, single bit belt type of uh, hatchet. So a single bit, they also make a double bit. So uh, just pick what works for you. Um, I picked this one because it's got a lanyard loop and put it in your pack. It's just one edge is all I need and a hammer for camping. You'll get it done in the field. It works great. Overall opinions is get it. Well, folks, I hope you like it. Um, I hope you like this video as well. Please hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment and tell me what you think of the single bit hatchet in action. Y'all know what you can do. You put God first. He puts you first every time. And you know what else, YouTube? God loves you. So does Hondo. Peace out, YouTube. <laughs> Yeah.